Welcome back to Lily's Viking Adventures. This time we will take a look at some ancient love spells from various different cultures, rituals, and history associated with love. The downside of love spells and how to navigate love in the modern day with respect and real world practices. Stay with me till the end for the solid advice to improve your chances of finding, keeping true love in your life. So we're going to start out with the Greek magical papyri. These ancient spell books from Egypt, dating between the 2nd century BC and the 5th century AD, contain a wealth of magical rituals, including love charms. Simple spells, some were straightforward, like rubbing a tick from a dead dog on the loins to attract a certain person at the baths. Elaborate spells, others required more effort, such as using fish blood to write a spell invoking demons on the skin of an ass. This wrapped bundle was then hidden in the mouth of a recently deceased dog. Please don't kill any dogs. Arcane ingredients. Most spells combine specific ingredients with magical words. For instance, an iron ring inscribed with Harpocrates, the Hellenistic god of silence, was used while shouting magical words at the moon from a rooftop. Love potions. Ancient texts discuss love potions extensively. One demotic spell suggested a visceral recipe. Take the fragment of the tip of your fingernail, an apple seed, the blood from your finger, Pound the apple, add blood to it, and put it in a cup of wine. Recite the given spell seven times over it, and the woman should drink it at a special time. Some variants of this spell even included semen and hair from a deceased man. Gold Rings and Inscriptions A gold ring found in Corbridge, Northumberland, in 1935, was inscribed in Greek with the love charm of Polemius. Rings and inscriptions were believed to hold magical properties, especially when associated with love and attraction. Wiccan love spells. In more recent times, Wiccan practitioners have developed their own love spells. These spells often use easily accessible ingredients and focus on attracting new love or re-energizing existing relationships. Divine invocations. Across civilizations, people invoked gods and goddesses associated with love and fertility. Whether through mystical potions, enchanted verses, or magical objects, the quest for love has always been a powerful motivator. Remember, while ancient love spells are intriguing, modern relationships thrive on genuine connection, communication, and mutual respect. Rome. The Rape of the Sabine Women is a famous mythological example of forced marriage in ancient Rome. Romans had a unique courtship ritual where men would wear the names of their beloved on their sleeve during a festival honoring the goddess Juno. Celtic cultures. In Wales, the tradition of carving Welsh love spoons from wood was a way for a man to show affection and intentions for courtship. The Welsh goddess Branwen is associated with love and beauty, often depicted as a radiant woman with golden hair. In Mesopotamia, in ancient Mesopotamia, couples would hold hands as a sign of their bond. This gesture is depicted in scriptures from the region. Medieval Europe, during the Middle Ages, jousting knights would dedicate their matches to women they loved tying an item belonging to the woman on their sleeve as a display of loyalty. The concept of chivalry developed during this time, influencing many modern courtship rituals. Pagan traditions. Pagan love rituals often involve deities related to love, such as Aphrodite, Venus, or Freya, and included various spells and charms to attract or maintain love. These rituals reflect the diverse ways in which love was celebrated and sought after, a di after in different cultures, each with its own unique traditions and practices. 
While some of these rituals may seem strange or even harsh by modern standards, they all represent humanity's timeless quest to understand and express love. More on the Welsh love spoons. Welsh love spoons are a charming and unique tradition from Wales, deeply rooted in romantic symbolism and craftsmanship. Their origins and history. The tradition of carving and giving Welsh love spoons originated hundreds of years ago. The first documented love spoon dates back to 1667, but historians believe the custom significantly predates this time. Symbolism. Love spoons were carved with various symbols, each with its own meaning. Hearts represented love, wheels indicated hard work, and diamonds signified wealth. Carved in cages, carved balls in cages were thought to symbolize the number of children the carver wished to have with their partner. Craftsmanship. Young men would spend hours meticulously carving these spoons by hand as a token of affection. The most intricate designs were created to impress the object of their desire and demonstrate the carver's skills. Modern times. Today, love spoons are still crafted and given as gifts, often incorporating modern Welsh symbols alongside traditional ones. They are testament to the enduring nature of this romantic Welsh tradi tradition and are cherished as personal and heartfelt gifts. The Welsh love spoon is a beautiful example of how a simple object can be transformed into a meaningful symbol of love and intention. It's a tradition that has stood the test of time and continues to be celebrated in Wales and beyond. Norse love spells. Rooted in the mythical traditions of the Vikings and ancient Scandinavians are a captivating aspect of Norse mythology and magic. Here's an overview of the practices and beliefs surrounding love spells in the Norse culture. Saith. Saith was a form of sorcery practiced in the Norse world, often associated with divination and altering fate. It involved rituals that could include chanting, drumming, and invoking gods to influence various aspects of life, including love. Galder. Galder refers to incantations or chants, which were sometimes used as love spells. These spells were often poetic and could be used to attract a partner or strengthen a relationship. Rune ma runic magic. Runes. The ancient Norse alphabet were believed to hold magical properties. Specific runes such, a, such as Wunjo, Gibo, and Iwaz were associated with love and relationships. They were used as talismans to attract love or enhance partnership bonds. Deities and rituals. Norse gods and goddesses like Freya, the goddess of love, fertility, and beauty, were often invoked in love spells and rituals. A ritual to honor Freya might involve lighting candles and offering her a drink, such as mead, while me meditating on her essence to attract love. These ancient practices reflect the, reflect the Norse people's deep connection to the spiritual world and their belief in the power of magic to influence personal and emotional aspects of life. While the exact methods and spells are not fully known today, the legacy of Norse love magic continues to fascinate and inspire those interested in the mystical traditions of the past. The consequences of failed love spells throughout history have often been steeped in superstition and folklore, with varying outcomes depending on the cultural context. Here are some general consequences that have been associated with failed love spells. Metaphysical backlash. There's a belief that attempting to manipulate someone's free will through love spells could incur a metaphysical backlash causing harm to the spellcaster or the targeted individual. Psychological risks. Failed love spells could lead to psychological risks for both the spellcaster and the recipient. The recipient might feel violated or experience false emotions, and the spellcaster could face depression or resentment. Obsessive behaviors. 
When the effects of a love spell wear off, it could lead to obsessive behaviors, especially if the spell was meant to force affection or bind someone in a relationship. Unrealistic expectations. Love spells can create a false perception of love and unrealistic expectations, leading to dissatisfaction when the reality doesn't align with the idealized version created by the spell. Moral and ethical dilemmas. There are moral and ethical considerations when it comes to love spells. Manipulating someone's emotions or inducing obsession infringes on personal agency and autonomy. It's important to note that these consequences are based on beliefs and stories from various cultures and times. In modern times, the idea of love spells is often viewed metaphorically, emphasizing the importance of consent, respect, and genuine connection in relationships. Enhancing love and attraction ethically focuses on fostering genuine connections and nurturing relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Here are some ethical ways to do so. Effective communication. Share your thoughts and feelings openly and listen actively to your partner. Good communication is the foundation of a strong relationship. Quality time. Spend meaningful time together to strengthen your bond. Engage in activities that both of you enjoy and create lasting memories. Appreciation and gratitude. Show appreciation for your partner regularly. Express gratitude for the little things they do, which can significantly boost affection. Self-improvement. Work on yourself, not just for your partner, but for your own well-being. Personal growth can make you more attractive and can positively impact your relationships. Acts of kindness, small, thoughtful gestures can go a long way. Surprise your partner with acts of kindness to show that you care. Physical touch. Physical affection, such as holding hands, hugging, or cuddling, can enhance feel feelings of love and connection. And don't forget sex. Support and encouragement. Be your partner's cheerleader. Support their goals and their dreams and encourage them through challenges. Honesty and trust. Build a foundation of trust by being honest and transparent in your actions and your words. Respect boundaries. Respect each other's personal space and boundaries. Understanding and respecting limits is crucial for a healthy relationship. Shared values and goals. Aligning on core values and life goals can deepen your connection and ensure you are both moving in the same direction. Remember the most <clears throat> ethical and effective way to enhance love and attraction is through actions that promote mutual respect, joy, and the well being of both partners. And then, as a side note, um, I would like to add. That, I mean, of course, you can do all these things or you can want to do all these things, but if you don't have someone to do them with, then it's a moot point, isn't it? So you have to go outside. You have to do things you enjoy and keep your mind and your heart open. Smile at people. Uh, engage in conversation. You never know. Maybe the person that you're talking to isn't somebody that you would want to date or be in a relationship with, but maybe they know someone who is. You never know. Make a friend um, and talk to people while you're out doing things that you enjoy. So those are some things. And I definitely, um, I very vehemently disagree with doing a love spell and having someone in mind. I've seen it done and it, it never turns out the way that you want it to. It's never good. But I don't disagree with doing an open-ended love spell that where you are asking for manifestation or for, for your person to be attracted to you, someone who fits with you to be attracted 
to you, to find you, um, to make it easier. It opens you up. As long as you don't have a person in your mind when you're doing that spell, I think that that's okay. And I don't think that infringes on anyone, but you really, you cannot have someone in your mind. You have to just be open and uh, accepting and you know, when you're doing these spells, you can list traits that you prefer in a person. You know, if you're a hiker, you can say, uh, you know, bring someone who will hike with me um, and those sorts of things. And I think that that will help to open you up uh, and to maybe open someone else up and set you together on a path. So... That's my advice for that. And I wish you all lots of love and happiness. Please like and sub if you got to the end and share my video. Help me grow this channel. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much.